What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Days of Asian Food. Someone asked me how to prepare beef tomato stir fry a few days ago. I do not normally cook this dish often in Malaysia, but beef and tomatoes are a perfect match considering spaghetti bolognese has become an international dish. After trying it, I'm convinced that it should be included into my regular dinner rotation. So here is my version of beef and tomato stir fry Cantonese style. Let's get started. Let's begin with cutting the beef. Cut the beef against the grain. You can use any kind of beef. Um, tenderloin, flank steaks, it's really up to you. It is so much easier to cut if the beef is in a half frozen state. Marinate the beef with some salt, some cornstarch, a little bit of cooking oil, and some black pepper. Combine everything and let it marinate for a half an hour. You have an option to include about 1 8 teaspoon of baking soda to marinate. Baking soda helps to tenderize the beef. However, since the beef I bought today is quite tender, I omitted the baking soda today. Cut the spring onion into half to separate the green and the white section. Use the white section as part of the aromatics along with ginger and garlic. And the green part into short sections for stir frying and garnishing. Remove the stem of the tomato. Then cut it into thin slices or small wedges as you wish. Besides that, I have also prepared some onion, some minced garlic, and some minced ginger. With that, I also need to prepare a stir fry sauce. The stir fry sauce consists of only a few ingredients. This is oyster sauce, plus a little bit of light soy sauce and I would like to add a little bit of sugar to balance the acidity of the tomato. I also need sesame oil and some rice wine but they will lose flavor during stir frying therefore I prefer adding them uh, at the last minute of cooking. Now let's start to stir fry the beef. Add some vegetable oil into the wok Once the oil is heated, add the marinated beef. And spread the beef into a single layer. Let the beef sear for a minute. Flip over. Give it a few quick stirs and remove the beef from the wall. Do not overcook the beef. It is okay if it is a little pink as I'm going to cook the beef with the tomato later. With the remaining oil, 
saute the chopped ginger and chopped garlic when it starts to turn aromatic add the white section of the green onion and the onions now add the tomatoes and cook it for a little while the time required depends on the softness of the tomatoes that you prefer I like to cook it a little longer as I like the tomato to become a little softer now add the stir fry sauce and a little bit of water throw in the green section of the spring onion followed by the beef Combine everything together Add the sesame oil and the wine Combine a teaspoon of cornstarch with some cold water to form a slurry to thicken the gravy You may not need to use all the cornstarch slurry because remember we have already used some cornstarch to marinate the beef Once it is done, dish out and serve immediately Sprinkle with more chopped onions to serve That's how to prepare tomato beef stir fried And I would like to recap some of the important points Number one, marinate the beef for at least half an hour Number two, do not overcook the beef initially Because we're going to cook the beef with the tomato again And lastly, cook the tomato to the doneness that you like I've included a link to the blog post that you can download the recipe and also I've included the recipe in the description below the video and don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification and give me a thumbs up I'll see you again in some other similar video soon Bye for now